Now this is a one degree carbocation. and this rearranges to give a more stable carbocation so you have to write a structure of more stable carbocation now this is a case of ring expansion So what we can do in this case, we can shift this alkyl group to this carbon. This is again 1 to alkyl shift. So what we are doing, we are breaking this carbon-carbon bond and this carbon is connected to this carbon. So basically we are breaking this carbon carbon bond now you see we have a four membered ring carbon number two has a loss of bond so it will have positive charge so finally we will have this carbocation this carbocation is secondary carbocation, 2 degree carbocation and it has 4 membered ring. Similarly, let us try this problem. So we have this carbocation, this is again a 1 degree carbocation and it can rearrange to generate a more stable carbocation. So you have to write a structure of more stable carbocation. This time again we can do alkyl shift. So if I migrate this alkyl group to this carbon, that is we are connecting these two carbon and this bond is broken. So let us have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we will have a 5 membered ring. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Carbon number 2 contains a methyl group. So it will have a methyl group. And there is a loss of one bond to carbon number 2. So we will have positive charge on carbon number 2. So finally we have a 3 degree carbocation. And it has a 5 membered ring. So let us try this problem. This carbocation rearranges to give a carbocation that has a five membered ring. And it also has a four membered ring. So it is given the carbocation formed has a 5 membered ring and it also has a 4 membered ring. So you have to satisfy these two conditions to write a structure of carbocation. 
so in this case again we can do one to alkyl shift so if I migrate this alkyl group here we can connect these two carbon this carbon and this carbon so we will have one two three four five membered ring so this side we have a five membered ring so this is carbon number one two three four this is five on carbon number five we have a four membered ring also now carbon number four will have a CH3 group also now carbon number four has lost one bond so there is a one bond break in so it will also have a positive charge so this is a three degree carbocation initially also we have three degree carbocation now why this rearrangement takes place this is because now we have a carbocation that is inside the five membered ring initially we have carbocation that is inside four membered ring so carbocation inside the five membered ring is less strained and more stable is less a strand and more stable so let us try this problem so we have this carbocation this is a secondary carbocation a two degree carbocation it has seven membered ring this carbocation rearranges to give a six membered ring so in this case we will have ring contraction that is carbocation is rearranging from seven membered ring to six membered ring so once again we can do alkyl shift now this is one two three four five six seven now you may remember in case of carbocation we have one two alkyl shift so this is carbon number two so we can shift a alkyl group from carbon number two to carbon number one so what we are doing we are breaking this bond and this carbon carbon number three and carbon number one are connected so we are having something like this this bond and this bond are connected now we can renumber this is one this is two three four five six so we will have a six membered ring now carbon number 6 will have one CH2 group attached also we have broken this bond so this carbon basically carbon number 1 carbon number 1 should have one CH2 group attached because this CH2 group is initially attached to carbon number 1 is now free so carbon number 1 will have CH2 group attached 
and this will have positive charge. So we are coming from 2 degree carbocation to 1 degree carbocation. Now this carbocation can further rearrange by hydride shift. So if I do hydride shift, finally we will have this carbocation. So this is a 3 degree carbocation. So finally we will have this carbocation. Now let us try this problem. So we have a 7 membered ring again. And here we have two methyl group and we have carbocation. So this has a hydrogen also. This rearranges to give a carbocation that is more stable and it has six membered ring. So in this case, Once again, we have to do 1 to alkyl shift. So either we can consider this as a carbon number 2 or this as a carbon number 2. So this is carbon number 1. So either we can shift this alkyl group or we can shift this alkyl group. If I shift this alkyl group, we will generate more stable carbocation. That is 3 degree carbocation. So let us shift this alkyl group here. This means this carbon and this carbon will be connected. So we will have a six membered ring. Let us call this is two, three, four, five, and this is six. So we will have a six membered ring. Now carbon number 1 will have CH2 or basically C, CH or CME not H also. So we will have two methyl group attached to this carbon and this will have positive charge. So this is a 3 degree carbocation. Now if you try to shift this alkyl group let us figure out what will happen. So if I shift this alkyl group, this means this carbon and this carbon are connected. So we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we will have 6 membered ring. And carbon number 2 will have 2 methyl group attached and 6 number carbon will have a CH2 plus. Now this carbocation is less stable. This is a 1 degree carbocation and less stable. So mainly we will have this hydride shift this alkyl shift, this is not a hydride shift, will not have this alkyl shift. So this migration is not possible because this does not generate a more stable carbocation. Let us try this problem. If I have this carbocation and this time this carbon is chiral, what will be the product after rearrangement? So this carbocation rearranges. 
So what will be the more stable carbocation or what will be the configuration of carbocation? So we are interested in a stereochemistry this time. So let us write a structure of carbocation. Now in this case you have to remember when carbocation rearranges this bond is never completely broken. So what is happening this group migrates to this carbon but this group is never completely broken. So configuration of this carbon does not changes. So migration of carbocation or migration of alkyl group migration of alkyl group takes place with retention of configuration. So in this case finally you will have so CS3 C So if this group migrates here, the configuration at this carbon will remain same. So we will have this carbocation and this is a more stable carbocation, this is 3 degree carbocation and initially we are having a 1 degree carbocation. Now another important point we have this carbocation does not rearranges. And the reason is very simple this carbocation is stabilized by the resonance of lone pair of oxygen. So this carbocation is resonance stabilized and this resonating structure octet of each atom is complete. Octet of each atom is complete. So this resonating structure is very stable and that's why this carbocation that is acylenium ion does not rearranges. So in this lecture we discussed about four important points. First is ring expansion. So carbocation can rearrange by ring expansion. Next is ring contraction and third point is in migration the migrating group does not change as its configuration. So migrating group remains same configuration. And finally we said acylenium ion. So this is acylenium ion does not have any rearrangement.